Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianofTheRussian.com. We continue our conversation about the prefix pro, and today we will examine some new meanings of this prefix. Well, let's go. When this prefix is used with verbs specifying sounds, it describes a momentary action with a short duration. Шептать, to whisper, прошептать. Она шептала, что любит меня. She was whispering that she loved me. Вдруг она прошептала, я тебя люблю. She suddenly whispered, I love you. Петь, to sing, спеть, its perfective pair, пропеть. Она спела мою любимую песню. She sang my favorite song. Here we just express the result. My favorite song was performed by her. But Она пропела несколько нот и замолчала. She sang a few notes and fell silent. This was a momentary action with a short duration. She sang only a few notes and then she stopped singing. The prefix pro can also describe actions that last for a certain period of time. Плакать – to cry, проплакать – to cry for some time. Прошлой ночью я слышал, как она плакала. Last night I heard her crying. Она проплакала всю ночь. She cried throughout the night. Жить – to live. Прожить – to live for some time. Моя сестра прожила в Италии пять лет. My sister lived in Italy for five years. Быть – to be. Пробыть – to stay for some time. Я был в Лондоне два года назад. I was in London two years ago. Я пробыл в Лондоне две недели. Or я пробыл в Лондоне две недели. I stayed in London for two weeks. Лежать – to lie, to be lying. Пролежать – to lie for some time. Он лежал на диване и смотрел телевизор. He was lying on the couch watching TV. Он пролежал на диване несколько часов. He lay on the couch for several hours. The same is true for multidirectional verbs of motion. Ходить – to go, to walk. Проходить. Вчера мы ходили по магазинам. Yesterday we went shopping. Мы проходили по магазинам весь день. We went shopping all day. We spent the whole day shopping. Плавать – to swim, to sail. Проплавать. Он хорошо плавал. He swam well. Он проплавал в бассейне весь вечер. He sailed in the pool all evening. Sometimes the prefix pro describes losses, expenses or wasting. Играть – to play. Проиграть – to lose a game, to lose a war. Они проиграли в покер тысячу долларов. They lost a thousand dollars at poker. Они проиграли эту войну. They lost this war. Спать – to sleep. Проспать – to oversleep. Вчера я плохо спал. I slept badly yesterday. Вчера я проспал и опоздал на работу. Yesterday I overslept and was late for work. Пить – to drink. The verb пропить is used in situations like this. Он пропил все, что у него было. Or он пропил все, что у него было. He sold all that he had to get money for drink. Гулять – to walk. Прогулять – to miss without a good reason. Мы гуляли по городу во время урока. 
We were walking around the city during the lesson. Мы прогуляли урок. We missed the lesson. We did it without a good reason. The same is true for some verbs of motion when they describe time. Идти – to go, to walk. Пройти – to pass. Трудные времена прошли. The hard times have passed. Лететь – to fly. Пролететь – to fly by. Как быстро лето пролетело. How quickly the summer flew by. Besides that, the prefix pro may be used for obtaining perfective proofs from the imperfective ones. In this case, this prefix doesn't change the verb meaning and just expresses the completion of the action. It often happens with verbs ending in irovat or sometimes ovat, mostly of foreign origin. Let's see some examples. Analyzirovat проанализировать, цитировать, to quote, процитировать, игнорировать, проигнорировать, комментировать, прокомментировать, голосовать, to vote, проголосовать, нумеровать, пронумеровать, фильтровать, профильтровать. Because the prefix pro has many different meanings, the same verb can have different meanings depending on the context. Have a look. Я проспал и опоздал на работу. I overslept and was late for work. Here the prefix pro describes a loss, wasting of time. Я проспал 12 часов. I slept for 12 hours. Here the prefix pro describes an action that lasts for a certain period of time. So, be careful dealing with Russian prefix verbs. Well, that's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian Skype lessons. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you at the next video.